بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رمضان بيكس السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته I'd like to welcome you to another in our series, Ramadan Picks. In this segment, we're going to be looking at social media. Social media, which has become so much a part of our lives. Many of us are addicted to it. If somebody took away our smartphones, we can't hardly function anymore. We don't have time to communicate. We're lost inside of these devices. On one hand, for a Muslim, this is not a good thing because the Prophet, may God's peace and blessings be upon him, had told us, ad dunya mal'una. This world, addiction to the things of this world is a curse. So we do need to handle our devices for social media in a very positive and calculated way. We can't just, just do it whenever we feel like, however we feel like. So we have the choice of either making our social media experience something which is going to be on our scale of good deeds or something which is not going to be on our scale of good deeds. We have to decide beforehand. We're already caught up. We can't live without our phones. At least when we're going on the phones, we should be conscious of the impact which this phone has on ourselves as well as on others. There is so much information there, so much corruption there. Some people call it, instead of the internet, they call it the fitna net. So we best should say Bismillah before we even get on. Before we turn it on and start, we say Bismillah. Now, if we are not able to say Bismillah, this is telling us something. We're going on with the wrong intention. There's no harm in keeping contact with your friends, your circle, um, certain programs, etc. There's no harm, but we have to make sure that whatever we are interacting with is from the halal so that our presence on the net will be, inshallah, on our scale of good deeds on the Day of Judgment. We are in the month of Ramadan. And this is the month in which the Prophet Wasallam used to do more good than any other month. He would go out of his way to do additional good things. Because of that, the scholars hold that this month has a greater reward for the good done in it while one is in a state of fasting. So similarly, in this month, we should spend more time visiting Islamic sites, increasing our Islamic knowledge, sharing this knowledge with others. This is the month of fasting. So as we fast, in the other areas of our life, fast from certain things which are in fact halal, but they help us to avoid the haram. In this time also, as much as we can avoid things which are of no benefit, they may not be harmful, but they are of no benefit. In this month, let's put extra time in going to good, beneficial, and useful sites. That's in keeping with the spirit of Ramadan because Ramadan is about abstinence, avoiding, strengthening our will to avoid what Allah has prohibited. We have to be very careful about our presence on the net because it has a ripple effect building up in time, over time, to something potentially huge, either good or evil. So one little thing that we might do, and we pass it on to others, 
that click going to the site that we shouldn't have gone and uh, passing it on to others. This impacts on other people, our contacts, and there are so many other issues going on in the background on the net. We always have to keep in mind that what we may consider to be very small right now can turn out to be something huge, hugely evil on the Day of Judgment. Or if we do something good right now, it can turn out to be something hugely good on the Day of Judgment. So let's be very careful about this point. So let us take this opportunity to focus during this month in our use of the social media in a way which is beneficial for ourselves and especially for others. So let's try to engage in some dawah. Whether we're reaching out to our friends during this month, let's send them specific messages which encourage them to be actively engaged in spreading the word of Allah, spreading the message of Islam to others. So we have to take this opportunity which Allah has given us this month, the holy month of Ramadan, and earn for ourselves through it the maximum possible benefit while utilizing the social media in all of its various forms. With that, we hope that Allah will bless our effort, make our presence on the net a blessed presence, one which Allah will put on our scale of good deeds. With that, dear viewers, thank you for being with us in this segment of Ramadan Picks. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.